Hey guys, this is Alex with Wax247. I'm here with Max Shine again to give you guys another little tip. The last time we did it was a foam bath and a little bit of decontamination on the black truck. The black truck is no longer, the owner actually sold the truck. Um, so we had to step it up and show him something a little different um, and to show that uh, Max Shine chemicals could be used on several different surfaces, not only on newer trucks, but on older vehicles as well. And this vehicle was actually restored and we're gonna actually show you how we use this all-purpose cleaner from Max Shine and basically give you guys a little tutorial on the way I like to get it done, the way I like to see my um, you know, interior you know, like nice and sheen and clean. Um, we've got the foam cannon from Max Shine. You know, this is just, not everybody needs to use this, but this is the way I like to disperse it. And then it really doesn't matter on um, if you get it on the material because this is safe for this material. Um, we got our little plus brush. Actually, this is a plush brush from Max Shine. This is one of the softest brushes that they have. Um, I'm using this brush because I don't really want no scratches on any of this material, especially on this plastic. It's older, it's a custom car. Um, I just want the owner to be happy, you know, no scratches. You don't gotta go too fast. I see a lot of people going fast, you know what I mean? You just take your time, rub it in, make sure that it's uh, it's actually working. I do have my solution diluted, 50-50, 50 water, and the other 50% of the all-purpose cleaner. As you can already see, a lot of this stuff is already coming off. And like I said, it's safe on material, especially when you dilute it. Now we actually got our carbon fiber towel, just to wipe up any of this excess on here. Of any excess so and this is just on the plastics now we're gonna hit it with the sides of this material same process guys this one we're gonna use one of our microfiber towels here this one is just um, I mean we don't really want to remove too much on this we just want to remove enough dirt to make sure that this stuff is nice and clean it smells fresh I like doing the 50 50 ratio it doesn't keep it too sudsy not too much soap on the on the vehicle or the rag as you can see Removing all the dirt properly, effectively. Same process, same concept, guys. Make sure you get these rubbers in here. And it's okay if you get them the glass. That's why we have our glass cleaner to sit there and take off any smearing. And as you can see, this color is really getting back into the shape. A lot of this dirt is already off. There's nothing like having your interior detailed, especially after coming from a shop, coming from a, any weekend event. We go back to our carbon fiber rag, fluff up this interior, make sure that we don't leave no excess, any uh, residue behind. We wanna make sure all this chrome is clean. All cars are different. Now we wanna throw some sheen on them to make sure that they're clean and protected. So we got this all-in-one Max Shine conditioner. This is actually gonna rejuvenate all this and make sure it, um, it just holds its shine and protects, especially in the sun. We're gonna get one of our Max Shine foam applicators. Nothing too crazy, guys, but we do wanna put enough product to make sure that this interior looks nice and glossy. And like I said, the smell is ridiculous. It smells so good. And it depends on the shine that you want because um, the more you put, basically um, you get a higher shine. Some people like it to be nice and sheen. I like to give mine just a little umph. A little extra, don't hurt nobody. Especially when you're either detailing for yourself or detailing for a customer. There's nothing like giving a little extra product to give a little extra awe. Now we're gonna let, let it sit, let it do its thing. Um, either at this point you can wipe on or wipe off. I like to let mine sit. I like it to sit in there and absorb it and basically let it, um, let it cure. Um, this is basically how we do this door panel, guys. Now after vacuuming and, and prepping this door and making sure that it's nice and clean, like the rest of this car, we are actually gonna use this all-in-one protectant and cleaner to actually remove some of this stuff right here and actually leave it in protection. Before we even use it, we like to give it a nice good shake, guys, just to ensure that all of our products is being used the right way. There's a couple little drips. And this right here, we're using it actually on a vinyl plastic. And like I stated before, this is on a, how you want it to look. You can uh, wipe off any excess that you might have on this. The smell on this, guys, is amazing. And we're just basically just rubbing it in, removing any little fine prints but also leave it in a condition. The Max Shine All-in-One Cleaner is any essential conditioner and cleaner that I think that any detailer or any um, do-it-yourself or should have in their arsenal. This stuff is amazing. This stuff smells good. It works good. Um, I mean, it's basically an all-in-one, all-around product that I um, suggest you guys try it. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna move on to this dash. Uh, this dash, and throughout this whole car, it's pretty much clean. Like, when I mean clean, it's, it's really clean. There's only so much we wanna do. I don't wanna do something so extensive. Um, usually on something like this, I would use an all-in-one cleaner um, degreaser to remove any dirt and excess stuff that we have. But since this car is more of a classic and something that we don't really want to get too deep into, 
Um, we're gonna do a nice little dust. And this is one of the brushes that we would use to do a dust. This is just to remove any little loose stuff that we have and the cracks, the crevices that, um, you know what I mean, that are just here, you know? I'm, I don't wanna, wanna throw harsh chemicals on here. This car is looking clean already, but we do wanna make sure that there's no dirt before we apply this all-in-one conditioner cleaner. And the plush brush is actually one of my favorites to do it. It just removes everything and I'm, it's ensuring me that I'm not really gonna scratch anything at all. It's gonna be very, very hard to scratch something. And there's nothing like having your controls nice and clean, sparkling when you're driving. And this just gets in the cracks and crevices, gets in the bolts. There's little bolts in here that it gets like nothing, like, like butter. We're just gonna remove everything. And basically it's a uh, common sense, guys. Whatever you want dusted, you dust it. We don't wanna leave too much of this, um, this dust on there surface before we uh, throw this all in one conditioner get in between here and this is more on one of the easier jobs this is something that's simple but there's a lot of clients out there that need this now i think what we'll do is we'll move on same process as we did uh the vinyl and the doors we want to put a we shake up before we even use we want to put a nice amount and this is an all-in-one product guys so basically you are able to use this as a cleaner there's no need to really use anything harsh, chemical as in um, degreasers and stuff. This doesn't need the degrease. This just needs a little bit of some, um, some dusting, a little bit of some protection. And like I said, you can rub this product in. This is a cleaner and a conditioner. So you basically could rub it in and remove some of the dirt. But at the same time, you're actually conditioning this dash and you're going to rejuvenate it and make it look brighter, deeper. You know what I mean? Make it look like it's um, healthy. Now we're just making sure that there's no, um, there's no like grease, there's no fingerprints, there's no, um, you know, um, hamburger stains on this, you know, for anybody out there that likes to munch and uh, drive. This is a perfect product to remove any fingerprints, grease, um, any smudges on your dash, and it protects it. Um, it's a great all-in-one product. I suggest some of you guys out there try. Um, and if you haven't tried it, go to MaxshineUSA.com. Okay, guys, and I know everybody's gonna ask, hey, you did that side, but Alex, what about the gauges? Um, okay, same process. Um, and this is exactly why we want to use these brushes because these brushes actually get in between places that maybe your rag can't or um, if you don't want to use a lot of extreme air to get into these gauges, which possibly could ruin them. This is something that we would, um, we would want to use is something like this, something, something so, so soft, especially right before you're going to condition. We are going to condition this as well as we did this side. Um, this one's just a little bit different. Just dusting guys, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Very simple. And we will address this. Um, steering wheel in a few moments we get inside the ignition just um just do it nice and nice and easy now we basically are going to move on with our all-in-one protecting uh and cleaner we are going to make sure that we rub this in to take off there's little minor fingerprints here from our customer's car safe to go on this glass you guys got the glass out there sometimes um you want to make sure you get those clean you might get a nice dust when it's all said and done your dash should look like this. You tell me what you guys think. Okay guys, now we're on to the pedals. Uh, this is something that we, um, you know, as detailers, we wanna take it to the next level and we wanna get into detail. So we're actually gonna use one of our Boris brushes actually to get in this little crevices that we see right here in the rubber. And one of our also that we're gonna, one of our things that we're also gonna use is actually the all-in-one cleaner to actually remove some of this dust and these, these just whatever's, you know, here under your foot. And actually the reason why we actually have um, our microfiber towel on the bottom is just so any dirt that comes here i don't want to put it on the carpet and stain the carpet with the dirt that's from here so we just put that there just to make sure that we're you know um, protected in a couple ways and right away you'll see it working this is the dilution of 50 50. squirt the brush just to give it some sud and we're just going to go to town just removing any of this um excess dirt Grime, gum, tar, anything from the floor. Just the up and down process, back and forth. This is a very easy process, guys, but it is very effective, especially when you look on the floorboard, your carpet's clean, and your um, pedals are actually detailed. Rubber's looking fresh. Nothing like having a detailed car, guys, especially in the summertime. And we get that same rag and we just wipe. No excess uh, dirt on the floor. Wipe up anything extra. And if some, your pedals are dirtier than others, you could repeat this process and you can get the same amazing results. I suggest you do this two or three times with really, really, really heavy, dirty ones. And for some of you guys that 
need a little more than that, I suggest you taking these rubbers off and uh, sliding them in some water. Use some of this agitation and use a porch brush and you guys should be good. All right guys, now we're coming out the garage. Now it's mat time. I'm gonna show you two ways. I know there's several ways on how to do these mats. I'm gonna show you two ways that I like to do them that are effective on different methods on when we're gonna, we're gonna need them. First one is I would like to get the foam cannon, get these nice and saturated. Not too much, you know what I mean? Just enough to get some suds, but we do wanna degrease this. We got our drum brush. Gonna make sure this is nice and tight. A little bit of water. A little bit of some elbow grease. This is just one way to get them clean. This is the way I suggest if you want to get a deep clean. And of course you're going to let these air dry out or you could extract them. Either way, they're going to be clean. We just want to make sure we get nice and clean inside this, especially these logos. These logos is sometimes a little harder to get to, but using this drill brush with this water method and this degreaser, this all in one, perfect way to clean out all this gunk. What do you have at old coffee, soda, water, juice? No matter what, we're gonna make sure that these mats are clean. And just like that, no fancy tools here, guys. Just a drill brush, a nice drill brit. Usually we let them hang out. I just wanna show you guys how clean they look. Now on for the second one. Marty Carlos sign looks a little dull, a little uh, dirty. You know, the feet have been there probably. This is just something a little bit different. If you don't have the drill, we're gonna use this method. I'm not gonna oversaturate them. Just enough to bring off any loose dirt. Either which way, either way you like them. If you guys want to move on with this process, you guys are more than welcome to use an extractor. But at this time, we're going to let these air dry. We're going to let them go up and let gravity pull this water down and remove everything that's there from odor to, you know, all the stains that we did have on there. Okay, guys, in conclusion to this Monte Carlo detail, we showed you guys a couple things on how we do the interior from a uh, doing little simple dusts to sitting there and agitating it. Um, we wanna say if you guys like any of the chemicals, go visit the MaxShine website, go order. There's tons of things that you guys would guarantee love. Um, we wanna say thank you guys. If you guys have any comments, please leave one. If you guys have any questions, please leave a question um, or an answer, whatever, we'll get back to you. Hope you guys enjoyed these videos and we wanna say thank you and we'll see you on the next video, guys.